Hello, hello. Hello, hello. End of days, end of days. Predictions and prophecies. People are writing books about, talking. There are documentaries about. End of the world, end of the world. <laughs> All they need is a big old brush just brush away all of the rust that has been gathering whilst you've been locked down, it seems. They've got all the time to read all these rubbish and nonsense and get themselves in twist. Uh, all you need is a good old brush, maybe a steel brush to some of the hard, concretized ideas that needs vanishing. Well, people who talk about end of the world one day asked me the question and i said it is just like this the meaning of every word we have spoken the translation of every language is such it's open to interpretation the understanding is a total misunderstanding in human terms because our capacity to know life is limited to our knowledge, what we've been told, what we've been drummed in since we were kids. But if you stepped out of your logic, there's a phenomena which is called magic, which is called life. There's so much to experience, so much to exuberance of life there is, which I'm constantly experiencing with such a phenomena that's surrounding me. The only way to know it is to touch the dimensionless possibilities that are out there in this vast existence we call the planet, the galaxies, Milky Ways, the billions and trillions and numbers that we used to call it the stars, the moons, the solar systems. All of that is good for your entertainment, but it doesn't help you to understand your own self without ever stepping inwards to know who you are and what you are. Talking about end of the world, I gave a good example. One day there was two Franciscan monks going on a pilgrimage. They got to the end, which is at a at a, an elbow bend. And there, there was the, a bridge, which is an old bridge just collapsed and there's no way through to the other side. So the monks return back and what they know best is to take care of, in a conscious way, take care of life. So one of the little monks wrote out a placard saying, the end is near and was holding and was in a meditative mode with the, the elder monk just as they were settling down for a meditation, suddenly a, a car came screeching, braked and was passing by and said to put the window down and shouted at the two monks, you religious nuts, get a life. And he sped off around the bend. Within seconds heard a screeching noise a big tire break and a thunderous crash. And the, the elder monk said, we should have at least written, the bridge is out. The bridge is out. It is this misunderstanding. It is this limited knowledge that we have where the humanity is crashing in, where humanity is crashing. If you are understood, there is nothing that you know. What you know is limited and it is causing tremendous harm to everybody around us. Brush your rust off, all your concretized ideas, try and chisel them out and get out of this bondage of your self-created harm to yourself, 
and in projecting those to others. As long as we are rusted, not brushed off, our rusted and cobwebs, get those off you and renew yourself with what is in front of you. Appreciate the way they are, appreciate how they are. Feel the vibration of life and energy around you and surrounding you and supporting you and aligning you with the, the geographical perfection of earth and its existence. And once you understand the forces that are supporting you, you will be humble and genuine enough to understand you're a speck in this vast cosmic space and this in this existence. Your idea is so puny. The moment the forces of existence retract your possibility of existing, will cease to exist. All your silly ideas and silly books that you have read and information that entertained you may not pull you out of your spiraling downfall of life. You can only rise above all of these limitations by being simply uneducated and knowing something beyond your limitations of knowledge. I invite you to journey with me. If you don't, your journey alone should be an inward step before you reach out.